Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the color index property with Excel VBA. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. On this worksheet, I have a command button with the caption Select Color. And this opens a user form that I built for another video where I demonstrate how to use the red, green, blue method for setting the color of a cell or a control. So a combination of the red, green, and blue values can be set and this can be used to specify a color. Excel also has a method called the color index property. And I'm going to use the same user form to demonstrate how to use the color index property to specify a color. So I'm going to close this and move to the Visual Basic Editor, that's Alt F11. And here's the user form that I was just displaying over in the worksheet. So I'm going to add a command button from this toolbox here to the left of the user form. I'm going to place this on the user form and double click it to bring up this code here to the left. Command button 2 underscore click. And with this code, I'm going to generate all the possible colors using the color index property. And this will display on the worksheet along with the color index number associated with each color. So first, I'll declare a variable, i, dim i as integer, and then I want to start a loop, so this will be for i equals 1 to 56, or 56 colors using the color index property. And before I put the code in the loop, I'm going to close the loop by using next i. So now moving into the loop, there'll just be two lines of code here. This will be cells, and the row here will be i, the column 1, and this will equal i. So this cell, i1, so the first time this loops, this will be cell 1, 1, or a1, this will be equal to i, the number of the color index that corresponds with the color that I'm about to put in. So this will be cells i2, column 2, dot interior dot color index equals i. So here we have the number and here we have the color associated with that value. So moving back over to this worksheet, I'm going to open this user form and click command button. I'll close this. And you can see I have the color index values and all the colors associated with them. This goes from 1 to 56. So a range can be set to a specific color index just as I did here in this code. The range, in this case cells i comma 2 dot interior dot color index equals the color index that you want. In this case it was i, but it could be whichever value you want to specify. So in addition to using VBA to set the color index, we can also use it to indicate the color index of a cell that already has an interior color. So say that we have a cell that has an interior color and we want to have VBA identify the color index associated with that interior color. We can do that with VBA. So moving back to the worksheet, I'm going to try to identify the color index here in B10. Of course I know it's 10 already because of this code that we ran. But let's assume that we don't have these values. We just have the color in the cell to work with. So moving back to Visual Basic Editor, again I'll go to the toolbox and place a command button on the user form and double click. So 
here again to start off I will declare a variable this one will be x as integer and then I'll set x to equal active cell dot interior dot color index in this case I'll create a message box that will report the color index so it'd be message box X so just these three lines of code so moving back to the worksheet I'm going to select cell B10 go to select color and click command button 3 and it returns the color index of 10 so I identified the color index for cell B10 so there's one last item that I want to cover and that is a situation where you have an interior color you want to set to none or you want to set to automatic fill so instead of a value from 1 to 56 in those two instances you would use these terms to set no interior color it's XL color index none and to set the automatic fill it's XL color index automatic I hope you found this video on the color index property to be useful as always if you have any questions or concerns feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you